Today, we're having a look at the much-beloved Starlight Drive-In, one of the earlier settlements you can come across in Fallout 4. All you need to do to conquer it is kill a few mole rats. Sounds easy, but the holes and the corpses they leave are unsightly. So, if you want to leave conquering the workshop after you clear the mole rats for a couple of days, they will despawn, which will make the place look a lot nicer. Overall, the settlement is extremely flat. There are some radioactive barrels we'll talk about in the center that you want to scrap early on when you enter the diner however there is a booby trap over here and if you're quick enough you can maybe disarm it i was not there you could enter from the roof and disarm it that way but be sure to pick up all the supplies in the diner for your early game as a lot of it will prove very useful Again, another thing, you're going to want to try and disarm a little faster than me. The previous resident is actually found on the top floor here. Not alive, but you can take their weapon as well as any supplies they may have had lying around. Be sure to take the bobby pen as you will need some to get into both the workshop and the rear projector room where you can get a fusion core and a really neat comic book. As for this door here, you can unlock it with the key found on top of the screen projector. So if that's an option you want to go for, then feel free. We're going to have a wee look through here, but I do want to give a word of caution to these radioactive barrels. Not only are they much higher than usual, you will want to scrap them sooner rather than later. Settlers nearby will get downed and that'll cut into productivity. As for Brahmin, they will die near instantly if they are located near the barrels. So again, scrap all five and you won't have to deal with the radiation problem. Plus, it'll give you some nice nuclear material. Now, we can either go to the top of the screen projector and get the key. Or you can go into the first little room here. You can get yourself an early machete as well as some supplies. It seems someone was holed up in here not too long ago. The main prize, however, is in through this door right here. Easy peasy. Straight in and you can find lots of supplies around here as well as Nuka-Cola Quantum. Not a bad find. There's also a fusion core and if we go all the way over here, plenty of supplies to get you started on your first settlement. Now, let's head on up to the roof and get ourselves the key. There's also a cooking station. By the way, booby trap of a frag mine located there. Again, very important you catch that early on. You don't want it to <laughs> annihilate you and you'll have to do the exploring of this place all over again. In the foot locker is the workshop shed key, which again, if you don't want the XP and the hassle of unlocking the workshop, it means that you can conquer it straight away. And as I said, it is a rather large area, so let's see how much of this we actually get to build on. And as you can see, it is an extremely modest size. As for the height, you can't go much higher than the screen projector. It's definitely not as tall as I post Simonja or the likes of Grey Garden, but it is still a pretty remarkable limit. But what it lacks in height, of course, it makes up for in girth. It is a massive settlement and very flat, so you can get a lot of work done. Scrap all the cars, place some foundations near the radioactive barrels, make sure to scrap them, of course, and boom, you've got yourself a pretty decent area that you can wall off and defend. As for random encounters, there are some uh, near that bridge over there that can be a little vicious. Super mutants and death claws often spawn there, so do add a few more defenses in that line of sight uh, before you continue. As for the rear, you can see it continues around the back of the screen projector and a little ways out, so you can get a pretty nice wall going on here. And that pretty much covers Starlight Drive-In. Let me know, is it one of your favourite settlements? I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.